Kyle, what happened, bud? Yeah. Just try to take a nap. Did you go? Oh. <laughs> Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we've got a little bit of a different video. We're actually gonna step into the garage today. And today my work's gonna be in here. So normally we record all of our videos of us working on stuff in the shop. Um, forever ago, I did a video in the shop of actually like shop tour. It's been about a year since I've kind of retrofitted this, what used to be storage barn into my shop, but we've got some upgrades coming today. So we were in the middle of working on the X3 and I got really annoyed with this project. So I didn't feel like working on it. If the video is not already out on this, here's a whole entire spoiler. Besides that, I've got a new project for the shop. This area has been my focal point of when I'm working on stuff, just all my tools and everything, basically this whole side of the shop where this whole side of the shop's more hangout and comfort. If you guys didn't know, I'm a remodeling contractor, so I'm always demoing stuff, ripping stuff out, changing stuff for people, building stuff. So anyway, a few weeks ago, I ripped out a really nice kitchen. The cabinets are kind of ugly, but they're really nice quality. So what I'm gonna do is install them in my shop right here. So we're gonna do some cabinets with the countertop and then some uppers and get all of this stuff into some cabinets just to look a lot nicer. And just kind of change up the whole lay of the shop a little bit. And I think it's gonna change the feel, but also a surprise at the end. So Mr. Cool is, a company that sells mini splits and if you don't know what a mini split is basically it's heat and ac in a small package unit and they sponsored today's video and they're going to hook us up with one for the shop so the one i got is a dual head unit which means it comes out ac or heat two spots so i'll probably have one right here and one over by like the sea boys flag and i'm going to get rid of the wood stove because it's starting to get colder here in north carolina like i said this is a little bit of a different video for everybody else but i know a lot of people especially on my snapchat always ask me to show more of like what i do at work and it's weird to record at people's houses so i figured this would be a good opportunity for me to show you guys what i do on a daily basis but for my own shop so anyway without further ado we're going to move a bunch of stuff in the shop from there we're going to go ahead and get those cabinets it's installed countertops basically get ready to start doing the mini split we got some wiring to do for that hang the unit install the unit run all the line sets all that stuff so stay tuned we will be back in a second all right now that i've got the x3 out of the way we can kind of see what's all going on here so i do have a water heater and sink out in my shop and then just shelves with a bunch of stuff half of its mechanic tools for working on stuff the other half of it's just supplies and stuff from work so i used to keep a lot of my tools in my shop from work and then i would throw them in my truck whenever i was going to work but now that we've got this f-350 with the utility bed on it basically all my tools stay in here all the time I should probably do a review on this truck one day. Like, it's just nice to have all the stuff in here. So like I was saying, this shelf has a lot more shit on it than I thought, but we've got all the big stuff moved. And I think the plan is literally to fill it up with cabinets right to the lift. And then we'll do one big countertop that goes over everything in one shot. I'll integrate the sink into it. So it just has a nice finish. Actually, at some point, my pops will be swinging by today. I got him to help me put all these cabinets in just because it's nice to have a second hand. We'll probably have to do some shopping at Lowe's to get some stuff. Definitely gonna need to figure out what I wanna do for countertops and get the supplies for tomorrow when I have to put the mini split in. All right, so lastly, I've got to go find a water hose connect to this to drain this water heater. Draining the water heater was pretty easy and simple, cutting that free and the sink's free, and then we started bringing all the cabinets in. What we're gonna do is we've got some uppers and these base cabinets. I've got, we're gonna cut this down to here, and then this base will go in here. It'll just clear the lift by about two inches, and then we're gonna integrate the sink into the top right here and I'm gonna build a face for it because I've got some extra doors that I can use. And then we're gonna put the water heater slap up against the wall. For now, I think I'm gonna throw you guys back on the tripod, a little time lapse of us cutting up these cabinets, making them work, and slowly getting them installed. All right, first one's in. We got it really level, perfect. See, just like that. Just kidding, that's how my buddy, my buddy buddy levels things. <laughs> no way. The fucking looks level to me. Alright, sinks in, 
just got to drill the drain lines through the wall and then connect it. I think we're going to wrap this up in the morning. We will catch you guys tomorrow. Basically, I'll pick you guys up when the mini split arrives. All right, see you tomorrow. Hell yeah. All right, my boy had brought this thing in for us. This is a big package. All right, we're gonna get Taryn into this new package and see what it's gonna take to get it installed. All right, so we got the head unit and the other head unit unboxed. I figured a lot of you guys that follow me probably have shop and something like this would make sense for your shop if you're looking for air and heat, especially in the summertime. My shop can get up to 85, 90 degrees inside. Listen, this is a good investment for me, especially because not only do I do YouTube out of here, but I do carpentry stuff as well. 412, it's probably gonna be a late night tonight, but we'll see if we can get this thing installed today. All right, so a lot of people do these a lot of different ways, but the main way is to pour a concrete pad and set the outside unit on. My problem is my grade outside is all messed up. But like I said, a concrete pad probably would have made sense, but for my condition, I think I'd rather have it up off the ground, and especially since I've got the overhangs to protect it. It'll be a little bit weird when I go to change all the siding out on the building. Realistically, I probably should have channeled the money towards siding first and then done the mini slit second, but... All right, so now it's time to start putting in the interior parts. Um, I've already pulled this one apart. They've sent you a super easy to follow template. Drilled that hole. Well, basically I screwed the template to the wall, made sure I leveled that. Tells you exactly where to just drill that hole. And then we'll just have to run the outside line and my power wire. And honestly, as simple as I made it sound, that's basically how simple it is. And that's why I was kind of excited about getting this kit because I did not want to spend a bunch of money on an HVAC guy. And catch you guys tomorrow morning. Ah. So anyway, so we just got done installing the Mr. Cool mini split system in the garage as well as the cabinets. But first, I want to go through and show you everything that we did because like I said, I was filming it kind of by myself. Luke wasn't here. He's back now. Just kind of to give you like a full rundown on what we did and maybe it'll give you guys some ideas as well. So first off, we put the 36K BTU dual head mini split unit for Mr. Cool in the shop, which I already had a wood stove in here, which was great. But North Carolina the weather goes up and down and I really wanted something that I could get with air conditioning in the summer because it gets up to be like 90 degrees in here. And then in the winter time, it's just so unpredictable because some days it'll be 70, 72 and then other days it's 35. So another cool feature is you can actually run it through your phone, which I finally just got Wi-Fi out here in the shop and that's a game changer. But on top of that, I can literally go to the units and set them. I named them Fred and Ted just so I can remember which one was what. Well, who's who? So Fred's the front one, F for front, T is Ted for tobacco. <laughs> I couldn't think of any fun B names. I don't know, Ben, that wasn't as fun. So anyway, that's Fred and Ted, and they are my best friends at the moment because it is 33 degrees outside and it's 71 in the shop, which I should probably turn these things down. So they feel great. I've got them on turbo mode right now, and this is as loud as they get, which I don't know if your camera's picking it up, but I don't think they're loud at all. I, I also know. don't have wall insulation yet, which was in the plans to do. I think they're doing really good. I'm curious to see how they do in the summertime. I think that's where they're really going to shine, being that it's going to be 90 some degrees outside and we can actually still work on stuff and not be sweating our balls off. So far, I've had these units installed for two weeks now and I'm really happy with them. So if you're curious, they do have lots of different sizes. Um, this is one of the larger sizes. They've got ones that are smaller for smaller garages. I went with a bigger unit just for the fact that I'm not insulated yet. And this is a 1500 square foot shop. If you got a little bit of a smaller shop, that might be your suit. But the huge thing with the Mr. Cool mini split system is their DIY. Somebody like me, I've never dealt with mini splits. I've never dealt with any units, but I do have construction background. And really the only thing you've got to do is drill one hole in the wall for all the pieces to go outside, get them to the main unit, and then connect four lines and undo four screws. It was was extremely simple it probably took me three hours to do and then the hardest part was getting the electric from the panel to the new unit which in most people's case will hire a licensed electrician to do so so if you guys have a shop and you're looking for something like this whether you do or don't already have i don't know a wood stove is a great option but if you really want to have heat and ac especially for the fact that i can turn it on from my phone and literally be like i'll be home in an hour and i want the shop warm i'll turn it on i don't even have to be home i can sit here and turn them on and off I don't even have to be home. I can be out at work and I'll be an hour away from the house and I can come turn on. So if something like this interests you, go check out the link in the description for Mr. Cool's website for all their different units that they offer for all different applications and ranges. So anyway, without further ado, besides the AC unit, 
my next biggest thing was getting these cabinets in. I'm almost done. I still have to finish them off down here. But what we have here is four upper cabinets, four lower cabinets. We did the sink and the hot water heater. So I do have hot water out in my shop, which is super nice for cleaning, honestly, camera equipment, tools, equipment, just your hands after you're done working on stuff and just being able to put all this stuff away. My little brother walked in here and he was like, it's weird, you open up kitchen cabinets, see WD-40 and wrenches and stuff. It's kind of weird. You know. Ah, uh, yes, open up the cabinet. You have a uh, front just, diff. Just having a front diff, bike ball, some Allen wrenches and a bunch of rags. I don't know, like what else do you want in your cabinets in your shop? And I think all in all, cost me 50 bucks for the countertop. $20 from, for the sink at a yard sale. Got the hot water heater for free and I got all the cabinets for free. So cannot win any more than that, to be honest. Oh, and the, uh, oh, oh I did the $30 underglow lights from Lowe's. <laughs> I can change the color on them too. They've been on for like two weeks straight. Oh shoot. Can we go red with Milwaukee? Red. All right. I just leave them on white and they've been on for two weeks straight and they still work. So they're worth the $30. Actually, Luke, should we just do a kind of like a full tour of the whole shop? Because some of these people probably haven't yes. seen. <laughs> Give me this camera, Luke. You're about to be fired. Take us on a tour, Luke. Luke, you look like you're homeless. What are you wearing? All right. I'll see you later. Oh. Hi. Oh, hello. What do we get here, Luke? That was dumb. Anyway, so if you haven't seen my old shop transformation videos, this used to be a, I think the guy used to park like a RV or something in here, but it was dirt floored. We had to dig down 14 inches over here. We put a nice napping table, also known as a pool table in here. I also put this lift, which makes it super convenient for working on the X3 oh, or when your friends come over to drink and want to write their names on your walls. It really helps out yeah. with, you know, getting in the good spots. Um, what else did we do out here? We, or I ran a hundred amp service out here. There was no electric out here before. So we ran a hundred amp service for the welder, hot water heater, lights inside, outside, outlets inside and outside. Um, put some lights up. I gotta finish the ceiling still, the ceiling over here. Oh, we put these garage doors in. And one of the other huge things was putting this LVL up and taking the post out of the middle before we poured the concrete. We did have to leave that post just because I couldn't find a 30 foot LVL to go all the way to the corner. But I like it because everybody comes over here and signs it. It's just kind of been like a memory chart to see all the Plus all the not. different people that have visited the shop. I don't think it's really in the way either. Over the last year and a half. There's a bunch of people on there. Um, yeah, I kind of placed it really well where it lines up with the lift. But other than that, the shop's been super convenient to work out of and just have a nice hangout spot for my friends. People come over and they want to work on stuff. Miller uses the shop a lot. Oh, you know, we got the essentials, the pool table, dartboard. We got the plaque. YouTube needs to do better um, for some reason. Oh my God, I just knocked more letters off. Anyway, for some reason, these YouTube play buttons, when they get cold, the letters fall off. So I think I need a new one. Listen, if you're gonna buy a new one, we put this, we strapped this to the front of the Renegade on the- Just run into things, see how long it lasts. No, put it on the, the uh, on the rad. On the rad? That would be pretty cool. That's the coolest rad cover you can get. We got some memorabilia, the old X3 parts hanging out in the shop still. Mini fridge, of course. Oh, we do like to play spike ball inside, which is pretty fun. High rise, High rise ceiling spike ball. Oh, and we play cornhole inside. Yeah. So we're gonna give you a little bit more of the party aspect of what we got going on here, because I did film at our Christmas party. So we're gonna throw that montage in. It's a video, dog. It's a video. It's a video. You're just drunk. I'm gonna do a videographer. Check me out. So we made it this far into the video. Actually, we got a little bit of a teaser clip that you guys saw in the thumbnail and probably the beginning of the video. Me and Miller talked about going on a ride up at Cody's Trails. He has not been mud riding in probably five or six years. You've seen him on all of our videos filming for everybody, but he has not been the star of the ride. So we took off after work one day and we went up to Cody's Trails to go ride. He was riding on Luke's Outlander. I was riding on the Renegade. And we get there and I realized we did not bring the helmets for the GoPros. So we were not able to film the whole entire ride, which kind of ruined it. But Miller was like, we can just do this another day. I was like, no, nah, we're still gonna go for a ride and have a good day. 
So we did film some phone clips. Honestly, it turned out to be one of the more fun rides that we've been on in a while, just because there was no pressure to film. It was just go have a good time. So I actually Miller grabbed some phone clips. So I'm gonna throw that in here. Bud. Yeah. Yeah, this is you go, oh. <laughs> oh my god, Kyle. And it was just a day full of shenanigans. I blew two tires off the B within like 30 minutes of us riding. Tim met up with us. We met another guy on a dirt bike. Just had a good time, goofed around. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. If you would, drop down, leave a comment, subscribe, and check out Mr. Cool's link if you're looking for something like that in your shop. Actually, what I'd really like you to do is give me some tips, give me some tricks that you guys have done in your shop, what you think I could improve and change on in my shop, and or even tell me something that you might have stolen from my shop that I've done. If you want, I'd love to get your feedback, so drop down in the comments and do so. Other than that, take a look at some other videos and be on the lookout for some future builds and content that'll be coming out of this newly, nicely conditioned shop and go show your love for Mr. Cool. If you want, at least click the link, check them out. It'd help out a lot. Catch you guys on the next one. Bud. This is going in your YouTube video. I'm talking about YouTube video. I almost did it. Huh? I'm talking about YouTube video. <laughs>